So I don't know what happened, but I'm back at school starting today. I feel like I haven't gotten over the emotional trauma that was brought on to me by the travesty that was fall 2020. But here I am again. <sighs> I set my alarm for 6.30. It is now 9.20. I'm not ready for any of this. If you watched my last video, you guys know that I just moved into my new apartment. So my winter break was not really a break. It was just me trying to get my life together. And now it's a great deal of stress. <gasps> okay, let's just try to get through the day without losing my sh**. And yeah. Oh, okay. Here we go. There is nothing I love more than waking up in the morning so that I can slave away at my computer and continue to diminish my will to live for a piece of paper that will ensure myself a lifestyle that has been disillusioned by capitalist bullsh**. I'm just kidding. Anyway, it's a new term, a new year, and every day is a new opportunity to be the best David that I can be. to go get some coffee from the coffee machine on the first floor of my building. Now you might be wondering, David, if you're so bougie and have all this money, why don't you buy your own coffee maker? Well, having rich bitch energy involves making smart decisions that will help you stay a rich bitch. I'm not gonna throw money around like I don't have rent to pay. If I have to ride this elevator down every morning so that I don't have to buy my own coffee and save money, then I'ma do it. Anyway, this is the coffee machine. There's a bunch of different drinks and you can adjust the strength of your coffee. Oh, we're gonna need more than that. Turn it up. Okay. Here I am making a iced Americano, which is basically water with espresso shot. I love this sh It makes me feel alive. I'm a slut for caffeine. It's just a great way to start the day. And I'm having eggs with bread for breakfast. This is definitely a eat to survive type of meal. Sometimes I don't have time to make myself food that actually gives me pleasure and makes me feel happy. Well, since I'm in college, there's nothing to be happy about anyway. Again, I am just kidding. Okay, so it is now 10.48 and I'm just about to get started with the day. A common practice is to review the syllabus for each of your classes before the week begins. I didn't do any of that. So I'm gonna spend the next few hours or so uh, reviewing my syllabuses, syllabi, and organizing my calendar for the next couple weeks. So yeah, I'm not one of those college YouTubers who are super productive and just have everything together. If you came here for that, I'm very sorry.
okay, it is now 1 p.m. and this is what I've done so far. Uh, so I do use this app called Notion to organize all my school-related tasks. So I have a calendar view with all the due dates that have been provided so far. And my marketing class just put all the due items on Sundays. Uh, I also do put reminders for our YouTube related things just to give myself a nice overview of what's to be expected. For example, I put down this reminder that my chapter one activity for my public health 478 class is due on this day. And I do use tags so it's easy to categorize everything. And then right below my calendar view is my agenda, weekly agenda. So uh, I like to plan my days ahead for my Monday. I just finished reviewing all of my syllabuses, syllabi, whatever. And I just finished putting in all my due dates on this notion. And tomorrow I have a marketing class, Zoom meeting at 8 a.m., which I probably won't wake up in time for. But before I do any of that, I need to eat. I'm starving. So I just finished one of my assignments and it was just to do a discussion post that introduces yourself to your group mates that'll be that you'll be working with throughout the term. And so I thought it'd be a good way for me to let you guys know more about myself. I am a senior at Portland State University and I'm majoring in public health. I feel like for a lot of people from Saipan, it's very common to want to go into a health related profession. The health situation back home is not the greatest. So my public health interest in broad terms is uh, engendering behavior change at the population level. I know what it's like to live under circumstances that make it difficult to live healthily. There's just a lot of things come into play and Pacific Islands are kind of notorious for high rates of non-communicable diseases such as diabetes. But that's just the tip of the iceberg. Let's get back to work. I just finished watching a lecture for one of my classes and I'm very tired. I was just sitting here the whole time writing my notes and watching the video. I want to take a nap, but I still need to buy food. I think I'll go now. Here I go. I'm wearing Yeezys. 
to the grocery store because that's just something I would do. So I just came back from the store, and I just want to show you guys what I got. Okay, welcome to my grocery haul. I didn't really get much. I only got things that I'm going to have for dinner tonight. So I got some sparkling water, because I like making drinks. A box of rotini pasta. Some parmesan cheese. Tomato paste. Two onions. I'm gonna make penne a la vodka. Just without the penne or the vodka. So it is now 4.32. I think I'll take a nap. I, yeah, I deserve it. And I think I'll wake up at 4.52 and go straight back to work. So I'll see y'all there. Well, I had just awoken, awakened. I just woke up from my nap. It is now 5.27. Ugh, <laughs> oh, I'm a failure at life. I don't want to do anything anymore. I think I'm done and I'm just kind of hungry. So I don't want to, I don't want to exert myself. Okay, time for dinner. Ah, uh, the 5 p.m. night sky never fails to incite my depre- uh, I mean, whatever. So first, I'ma chop this onion and, oh my god, it looks even worse now that I'm watching it. Now, I'm not a weakling or a fool in the kitchen. This knife is just dull as f So now I'm just putting my tomato paste and, uh, oh, it does too fast, uh, you know what, I don't need to narrate this. I'll just stick to the captions. So I just finished dinner and it was wonderful and I actually got a little more work done. I read the first chapter of my marketing textbook and I just added a little more items to my weekly agenda for this week. It's a pretty light week this week, which is to be expected. Overall, I'd say it's a pretty good day. It's a pretty good start. I do have a good feeling about this term. I mean, the worst is yet to come, but I have high hopes for winter 2021 and probably the whole year. And I hope you guys feel the same. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like and subscribe for more college solo lifestyle content. Okay, thank you. I'll see you guys next week.